Hi everyone, it's Julie from Your Minute Kick-Ass Chicks and welcome to the June 10th edition of This Week, Next Week. Now, last week I didn't do a vlog. I uh, had too much news to post on the weekend and with my letter to Ilona and Gordon Andrews and my interview with them, which I'm going to talk about in a second, um, I just didn't really think there was much place for it and plus I really didn't have all that much to say. So uh, I, I didn't think anyone would notice, <laughs> but uh, apparently some of you did. So I'm back here with another this week, next week. So um, yeah, well, like balloons. I actually have balloons this week. I think we'll get them out of the way. Now uh, a couple weeks ago I asked for suggestions and I actually got some really good ones. Some a little more complicated than others, so I'm still trying to find uh, the right design for some. But Jess from the Spine Cracker suggested an owl. And yes, she's an owl fanatic and I know that Ash from uh, Smash Tap is also a bit of an owl fanatic and there's others too like book soulmates and so on so um, I thought I'd tackle that now I have two designs I have to say I don't love both of them so but I'll show them to you anyways the uh, the first one is this one here I, I um I tried to, to make the beak look like a beak and I think I should have just left it as one balloon otherwise I don't think it would be too bad Except for the big gaping hole in the back. I don't know what I did there. <laughs> but he's not bad. He's not bad. Or she, I guess, because she's pink. My daughter would say. Pink, she's a girl. The other one, I think, looks more like an owl. But he looks like an angry owl. <laughs> he's got a huge head. But I guess that's not so unlike it. Um, if I were to do this one again, I think I would just maybe fluff the body a bit more. Maybe add white or something in the middle. Um... Maybe not add the eyebrows because it makes him look really angry. Even the daycare kids are like, he's mad. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> he's mad that it doesn't look better. <laughs> Anyways, so Jess, I'm sorry that didn't turn out very well, but these are for you. Let me know which one you like better, and maybe next year when we actually meet, I'll bring the stuff with me, and I'll, uh, I'll make one for you. <laughs> that looks a little bit better. Anyways, those are my balloons this week. <laughs> yeah. All right, bookwise. Now, quickly, um, I mentioned that my interview in the letter now, and Casa is hosting a blog crawl for um, letters to the author, which I love the idea. Love the idea. Just write a basically write a love letter <laughs> to your. Okay, that sounds kind of creepy. A fan letter to. Um, to, to an author of your choice. And I chose Ilona and Gordon Andrews because as I've mentioned before, um, for me they played a in very important role in the, the fact that I found reading and anyway, with law. You can go read my letter if you want. Actually, I'm going to post a link underneath there for you so you can read that if you like. And um, that afternoon, Friday afternoon, I posted my interview with them. Oh my gosh. Like, even now, every time I look at my screen and my blog and I see that there is an interview there with them, I just like, I want to pass out. I'm so excited. And uh, their answers are awesome, awesome, awesome. So again, post that link too because you guys have to check that out if you haven't yet. Now, um, reading-wise, I guess I'll get to that. Lately, I've been reading I Finished Nightfall by Ellen Connor. And this I will have the review on Tuesday. And after that, I continued on my journey with the Dark Hunters, I guess in this case more of the Were Hunters. And uh, I read Unleash the Night. This was Ren and Maggie's story really cute. Um, like I said before though, I, I, I think it would be very hard for me not to like a book in this series. So that one is coming up next Friday. Right now I'm reading, there's no cover, <laughs> woo, writing uh, Frost Moon by Anthony Francis. So far not bad. Um, there's a few things just kind of thrown in there and then just you're like, huh? And uh, just the very beginning and I'm assuming that they will play a role in the story so I'm anxious to see how that pans out but right now I'm, at, I'm still at the kind of the huh phase <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out that won't be posting for a while obviously and then after that I um, this is way ahead of time I'll be reading What a Goddess Wants by Stephanie Julian it doesn't come out till July but I'll be interviewing the lovely Stephanie and even though that's not coming up till uh, the first week of July I know that soon there's no more school and my uh, my daughter and the other uh, girl that goes to school that I watch um, they're here full-time of course full days five days a week during the summer months 
which means my reading time will be cut considerably, as will my blogging time. It's still going to be fine, because it would work somehow last year, um, but I just want to make sure that I have this book read and my questions sent off in time before school ends, just so I'm sure that I'm not rushing it stressed out, because I don't want to end up having to ask really dull, stupid questions, because um, I'm feeling rushed. So. I don't think I would, but anyways, I, I still don't want to risk it, so anyways, that's going to come up after that. Now, blog land wise, uh, this week I was at Swept Away again, twice! On Wednesday, I um, posted, or no, I didn't post it, Ali posted my review for Blood Brothers by Nora Roberts, and yesterday we did a joint review for book two in the trilogy, The Hollow, which is actually was fun, it was the first joint review I did. Lots of emailing back and forth, but it was it was really fun, and we liked it so much that we also did it for the last book in the trilogy, The Pagan Stone, and that posted on my blog this morning. So those are all links and links and more links that I'll post on the bottom there for you. Um, but no, it, it makes the the reviews a little longer, but I think it's kind of neat to, to see the, the two perspectives, even though we're not so far off in our uh, opinions. But that was a fun experience, and definitely something I'm going to want to do again. So check those out. Now, that's that. Yeah, woohoo. This weekend? <laughs> this weekend. Not much. There's a breakfast going on at my daughter's school. It's the last one of the year. It's like a little fundraiser for these interactive board things. And uh, also, um, yeah, that's it. If it's nice, we're going to plant our vegetable garden. That should be interesting. I wonder how long it'll take before we kill everything because we're not, we're not very... Uh, green thumbed in this house, or, or thumbed at all, really. It's the first time I'll be attempting that. So I love fresh vegetables, so um, hopefully it works out, because I, I, I'd love to, to be able to go and pick a tomato and eat it you know, right there. Anyways, my son is screaming for me to come see him, so it's a good thing I have nothing else to say. So whatever you guys are planning for the weekend, I hope you have a nice, safe, and happy one, and uh, I'll see you all next week. A tanto tout le monde.